Hi, and welcome to this video, Christ Crucified 37. The title for this video is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 23. Pictured here are two images from the Shroud of Turin. Both images are obviously of the face, but one is the negative or the reverse of the other. Do the bloodstains on this image form the numbers 3 and 7? You be the judge. This video is not about the Shroud of Turin, but I will provide a link to where I obtain these images and you can go view the information on that website for yourself. This video is about a Bible code and it is related to the numbers 3 and 7, namely 37. In this video, I'm going to show you 37 patterns of 37 in the 37 occurrences of the word crucified in the King James Bible. We'll also talk about some interesting facts about the number 37 and I'm going to show you in the Bible where the number 37 explicitly occurs. Before we go to the Bible, let's look at some biological facts about the number 37. There are 37 genes in the mitochondrial DNA and this mitochondrial DNA is inherited only from the mother. We will see this in the Bible. We will be using the King James Pure Bible Search software. You can download that for free at purebiblesearch.com. I'll put links in the description for the online versions of this software as well. I encourage you to obtain the software and verify the patterns I'm going to show you for yourselves. As I mentioned before, the word crucified occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. We will be examining a Bible code that is based off counting things in the Bible, such as words and phrases and uh, combinations of those words and phrases. Even numbers of 37 will be stated in terms of the number 74 since the name Jesus has a value of 74 if we apply a simple English cipher where A equals 1 and Z equals 26 as you see here in this slide. And I will also show you where the number 74 occurs in any Bible, not just the English King James Bible. Let's go to the first occurrence of the word crucified in the Bible and that is in Matthew chapter 26 verse 2. Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. The combination of the word betrayed, the phrase to be, and the word crucified combined for 629 times in the King James Bible, which is 37 times 17, and that is in 592 verses, which is 74 times 16. So I will separate the words and phrases by red forward slashes, as you see in this slide. If a word or phrase is case sensitive, it will be underlined. So using the King James Pure Bible Search software, you would input the word betrayed, the phrase to be, and the word crucified, and it would give you the total count in verses, and they will both be multiples of 37. Moving forward, we will not be duplicating any previous patterns. These will be 37 unique patterns. For example, the phrase to be crucified occurs four times in the King James Bible. Let's examine an interesting 37 pattern that occurs, I believe, in any Bible. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. God is the first noun that occurs in the text, and it occurs in exactly 37 books of the Old Testament. The second occurrence of the word crucified is in Matthew chapter 27, verse 22. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. The phrase, let him be, case sensitive, combined with the word crucified, combined for 37 verses of the King James Bible. The first noun in the Old Testament was God, and it occurs in 37 books of the Old Testament. The first noun in the New Testament is the word book, Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. The word book occurs in 37 verses of the New Testament. And I should have put this on the slide, but the word generation occurs exactly 37 times in the New Testament. And notice it contains the word gene. Think of the 37 genes in the mitochondrial DNA. Now the third occurrence of the word crucified is in Matthew chapter 27 verse 23. And the governor said, Why, what evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Well, we've already seen the phrase, let him be crucified. So let's, let's make a different pattern. Um, the word saying, case sensitive, combined with the phrase, let him be crucified, combined for 407 verses of the New Testament, which is 37 times 11. An interesting property of the number 37 is that it is a figurate number. Figurate numbers have been known since ancient times. The number 37 is both a star number and a centered hexagonal number. And if you reverse the number 37, you get 73, and it is also a star number. Here is Genesis 1, 4 in the original Hebrew. And using standard Hebrew gematria, you can see that Genesis 1-4 in the Hebrew adds up to 1,776. That is 888 plus 888, or 74 times 24. Again, 74 the value of the name Jesus. 
And the word light is the 37th word in the Hebrew text. And the first letter of the word light is the 137th letter in the Hebrew text. This 3-7 Bible code exists in the Hebrew text, the Greek text, and the English King James Bible. Let's go to the fourth occurrence of the word crucified, which is Matthew chapter 27, verse 26. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. The word 2 case sensitive, the word B case sensitive, combined with the word crucified, combined for 1,324 verses of the King James Bible, 74 times 176. Here is the first verse of the Bible in the original Hebrew. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And using standard Hebrew gematria, you see that the total value for this verse is 2,701, and that is 37 times 73. So if you take the third star number, which is 37, times the fourth star number, which is 73, you get 2,701, which is the 73rd triangular number. Again, these are figurate numbers. They form shapes. 666 is a figurate number. It is the 36th triangular number. There are multiple 37 patterns in the first verse of the Bible in the original Hebrew. This has been well documented, and I'll link some resources for you to examine that for yourself in the description of this video. The fifth occurrence of the word crucified is in Matthew chapter 27, verse 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. The word they case sensitive combined with the word crucified combined for 1,924 in the New Testament, which is 74 times 26. We have seen how the first verse of the Bible in the Hebrew adds up to 2,701. Let me show you a 2,701 pattern in the 37th Psalm. Psalm 37, 37. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Jesus is the perfect man. Let's go to the sixth occurrence of the word crucified in the King James Bible. That is in Matthew chapter 27, verse 38. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. The words two thieves and crucified combined for 888 times in the King James Bible. All three-digit rep numbers are multiples of 37. 888 is 74 times 12. I will not factor these numbers. Just know if it's an odd rep digit number, it's a multiple of 37. If it is an even rep digit number, it is a multiple of 74. The name Jesus, as found in Matthew chapter 1, verse 16, has a value of 888 using the Greek isopsophy, the cipher you see here. This is the cipher used to obtain the number 666 in Revelation 13, 18 of the Greek text. The seventh occurrence of the word crucified is in Matthew chapter 27, verse 44. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. The word were, case sensitive, combined with the phrase crucified with him, combined for 666 verses in the New Testament. That is 74 times 9. The number 666 first occurs in 1 Kings chapter 10, verse 14. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 603 score and 6 talents of gold. 666 is encoded here in the King James Bible. The phrase 600 combined with the word three score case sensitive, the phrase and six, the phrase talents of, and the word gold all combine for 666 in the King James Bible. Let's go to the eighth occurrence of the word crucified in the Bible and the final occurrence in the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew chapter 28 verse 5, And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. The word was case sensitive combined with crucified combined for 4,551 in the King James Bible, 37 times 123. Let us examine the inscription on the cross as given in Matthew chapter 27 verse 37. And set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. The phrase, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews, has a numerical value of 343, which is the seventh cube number, or 7 times 7 times 7. 3 and 7 are important numbers in the Bible, and when you concatenate them, you get the number 37, which is a larger number. It is a prime number, so it's going to be more rare. It's sufficiently large to develop a code around. The ninth occurrence of the word crucified is in the Gospel of Mark, Mark 15, 15. And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. The phrase to be case sensitive combined with the word crucified add up to 259 times in the New Testament, 37 times 7. Let's look at John chapter 5 verse 37. 
and the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Notice we're in the 73rd chapter of the New Testament, 73 being the fourth star number, and the 37th verse, which is the third star number. Now the word Father, case sensitive, occurs 259 times in the New Testament, the King James Bible. That is 37 times 7. The number 7 is a figurate number, along with 37, because the number 7 is the second centered hexagonal number. It forms a hexagon. Numbers form shapes. And notice the phrase, seen his shape. The tenth occurrence of crucified is in Mark chapter 15, verse 24. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. The phrase, they had and crucified, combine for 296 in the King James Bible, 74 times 4. Let's examine the inscription of the cross given in the Gospel of Mark, Mark 15, verse 26. And the superscription of his accusation was written over the King of the Jews. The phrase, the King of the Jews, has a value of 185. That is 37 times 5. Let's look at the 11th occurrence of the word crucified, Mark 15, verse 25. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. The phrase, and it, case sensitive, the phrase was the case sensitive, combined with the phrase third hour, and the phrase, and they crucified him, combined for 888 in the King James Bible. Let's look at John chapter 11, verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. That word forth occurs 888 times in the King James Bible. Again, the value of the name Jesus in the Greek as found in Matthew chapter 1 verse 16. The twelfth occurrence of crucified is in Mark chapter 15 verse 32. Let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. The word crucified combined with the word with in the New Testament combined for 1,406. That is 74 times 19. Let's look at Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. This slide has a typo. The word with occurs 1,369 times in the New Testament of the King James Bible, which is 37 times 37 or 37 squared. It is unsuspecting words like the word with that form the basis of the code. Think about this word with. In the beginning was the word, and the word was what? With God. It is words such as with, and was, and of that are key to this code. Let's go to the 13th occurrence of the word crucified, which is in Mark chapter 16, verse 6. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. The phrase which was, combined with the word crucified, combined for 407 in the King James Bible, 37 times 11. Let's go to the 518th chapter of the Bible, which is 74 times 7. Psalm 40, verse 7. Look at it, 407. Then said I, lo, I come, in the volume of the book, it is written of me. The phrase volume of the book has a value of 185, just like the king of the Jews. The 14th occurrence of the word crucified is in Luke chapter 23, verse 23. And they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. The phrase that he might and the word be both case sensitive combined with the word crucified add up to 1,739 in the New Testament. That is 37 times 47. There is also a pattern of 23 with the word crucified. We have already seen that the word crucified occurred in the 23rd verse of Matthew 27. Crucified also occurs 23 times in the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But let us move on. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Here God speaks 47 words, and the word man, case sensitive as it occurs in this verse, occurs 1,739 times in the Old Testament of the King James Bible. Now the word image occurs exactly 74 times in the Old Testament. Again, 74, the value of the name Jesus. And notice the number 47 and the numbers 74 are images of each other. The phrase, Son of God, capitalized, occurs exactly 47 times in the King James Bible. Let's go to the 15th occurrence of the word crucified. It is Luke chapter 23, verse 33. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors one on the right hand and the other on the left. The phrase, where they, and the phrase, crucified him, combined for 37 times in the King James Bible. Let's look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, 
Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. After God creates man, he speaks 37 words to the man. These 37 words represents the good seed. In Luke chapter 8 verse 11, we are told that the good seed, as stated in Matthew chapter 13 verse 37, is the word of God. This is the parable of the sower. In Genesis chapter 3, we'll see that corrupt seed gets sown, and we'll go there by the end of this video. Also, the phrase, and God, case sensitive, as you see it here, occurs 74 times in the Old Testament, the value of the name Jesus. Let's go to the 16th occurrence of the word crucified, Luke chapter 24, verse 7, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. The phrase, be crucified, the phrase, and the third day, the the word rise, case sensitive, and the word again combined for 814 in the King James Bible, 74 times 11. Speaking of the third day and seed, let's go to the third day of creation. Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. Now there is something really neat in this verse. First off, it's Genesis 1 11. Notice the pattern, 1 1 1. There's that word forth again, 888 times in the King James Bible. Notice that the words fruit and the phrase his kind have a value of 74, like the name Jesus. I'll bring these facts to your remembrance uh, later on in this video. The 17th occurrence of crucified occurs in Luke chapter 24 verse 20. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. The word and... The word have and the word crucified combined for 24,679 verses of the King James Bible, 37 times 667. Let's examine the superscription on the cross as given in Luke chapter 23 verse 38. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. The word letters, the word Greek, the word Latin, the word Hebrew combined for 74 in the King James Bible. The value of the name Jesus. The 18th occurrence of crucified is in John chapter 19 verse 16. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. The word unto, the phrase them to be, and the word crucified combined for 7,400 verses of the King James Bible. So I'm not going to read Genesis chapter 1 verses 29 and 30, but... Just notice that God speaks 74 words in these two verses to the man. These 74 words define the diet of the man and every living thing for that matter. This food for the man and creation was created on the third day beginning in Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. And remember the words fruit 74, his kind 74. Here we have 74 words. So we've already seen the 37 words first spoken, followed by the 74. So in total, it's 111 words, 37 times 3. And it is in Genesis 1, 11, where seed is created. See the pattern of the Word of God being the seed? Now go to the 74th chapter of the New Testament, which is John chapter 6. And is that not about eating? Think about the Lord's Supper. The phrase, the cup, occurs 37 times in the King James Bible, and the word wine occurs 37 times in the New Testament. Also, the word Savior occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. But let's go to the 19th occurrence of the word crucified, John chapter 19, verse 18, where they crucified him and two other with him on either side, one, and Jesus in the midst. The phrase, where they, case sensitive, combined with crucified, combined for 37 verses in the King James Bible. Let's go to John chapter 19, verse 19, where the uh, final superscription of the cross is. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews, has a value of 373, which is the 74th prime number, and also the value of the Greek word logos in the Greek, which means word. In the beginning was the logos. Let's go to the 20th occurrence of the word crucified, which is in John chapter 19, verse 20. This title then read, Many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. The phrase, the place, the phrase where Jesus, the phrase was crucified, the phrase was nigh, are found in a total of 37 verses of the New Testament. Let us now obtain the full um, superscription on the cross based on all four Gospels. Matthew, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Mark, the King of the Jews. Luke, this is the King of the Jews. And John, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. It is clear the full inscription on the cross was, This is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews which contains exactly 37 letters. The 21st occurrence of crucified is in John chapter 19, verse 23. There's 23. 
And the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. The phrase, they had case sensitive, the word crucified in the name Jesus, case sensitive, combined for 1,184 verses in the King James Bible, a multiple of 74. Revelation 22:19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book, God case sensitive as it occurs in this verse, occurs in 1,184 verses of the New Testament, 74 times 16, and this is that 1,184th verse. The 22nd occurrence of crucified is in John chapter 19 verse 32. Then came the soldiers and brake the legs of the first and of the other which was crucified with him. The phrase, which was case sensitive, combined with crucified, combined, combined for 148 verses of the New Testament, 74 times 2. Let's go to Psalm 22, verse 1. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from words of my roaring? The phrase, my God, occurs 148 times in the King James Bible. Let's go to the 23rd and final occurrence of the word crucified in the four Gospels. John, chapter 19, verse 41. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulcher, wherein was never man yet laid. The phrase now in, the phrase the place, the phrase where he was, and the word crucified combined for 74 in the New Testament. The number 74 occurs in the 74th chapter of the Bible, which is Exodus chapter 24. This is a very important chapter in the Bible. And let's look at verse 8. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Verse 9. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel. Seventy-four people went up. There's the number 74 in the 74th chapter of the Bible. The blood of the covenant. 74. Jesus. 24th occurrence of the word crucified. Acts chapter 2 verse 23. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken, and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. The word have, the phrase crucified and, and the word slain combined for 1,110 in the New Testament, 37 times 30. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 13, verse 22. And I beseech you, brethren, suffer the word of exhortation, for I have written a letter unto you in few words. Word, case sensitive as it occurs in this verse, combined with the words, add up to 296 occurrences in the New Testament, 74 times 4. Now the word letter occurs 37 times in the King James Bible, and this is the 37th occurrence of the word a letter. We will go to the first occurrence here shortly. 25th occurrence of crucified, Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Ye have case sensitive, combined with crucified, add up to 296 verses of the King James Bible, 74 times 4. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 1. Now these be the last words of David. David the son of Jesse said, And the man who was raised upon high, the anointed of the God of Jacob, and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, the opening verse of this 23rd chapter of 2 Samuel contains exactly 37 words. Now let's look at the final verse, 3 verse 39. Uriah the Hittite, 30 and 7 in all. There were 37 mighty men of David. The name Uriah, the phrase the Hittite, the word 30, the word 7, and the phrase in all combined for 777 in the Old Testament. And 777 is 37 times 3 times 7. Let's look at 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 14. And it came to pass in the morning that David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by the hand of Uriah. There it is, letter 37 times the King James Bible. This is the first occurrence. Uriah the Hittite, the 37th man listed of the mighty men of David. Verse 15, and he wrote in the letter saying, Set ye Uriah in the forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him, that he may be smitten and die. The word wrote and letter combined for 66 in the King James Bible. There are 66 books in the Bible. The phrase, and die, has a value of 37. Verse 16, And it came to pass, when Joab observed the city, that he assigned Uriah unto a place where he knew that valiant men were. All forms of the word valiant occur in 37 verses of the King James Bible. Verse 17, And the men of the city went out and fought with Joab, and there fell some of the people of the servants of David, and Uriah the Hittite died also. The name Uriah combined with the phrase the Hittite and the word died combined for 222 verses of the King James Bible. 26th occurrence of crucified, Acts chapter 4 verse 10, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. The phrase crucified whom combined with God case sensitive 
can be found in 1,184 verses of the New Testament, 74 times 16. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 5. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout so that the earth rang again. The phrase ark of the and covenant of the Lord combined for 137 in the King James Bible. The word great should not be underlined, but it occurs 962 times in the King James Bible, 37 times 26. Verse 6, And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was coming to the camp. Ark of the Lord occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. Look at verse 8, Woe unto us! Who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. The word God, God's possessive, God's plural, and Godhead combined for 4,107 in the Old and New Testament, not counting the superscriptions in the Psalms, but that is 37 times 3 times 37. So in this narrative, the Ark of the Covenant, it gets captured. It's very interesting, but we're going to skip to 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 10. But to make a long story short, it would have been better for them to have lost the battle and not have captured the Ark of the Covenant because the Ark of God um, goes in there and destroys Dagon and smites the people with plagues. Therefore they sent the Ark of God to Ekron, and it came to pass as the Ark of God came to Ekron that the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought about the Ark of the God of Israel to us to slay us and our people. Now the phrase, Ark of God, like the phrase, Ark of the Lord, occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible, so the two combined for 74. Israel occurs in 2,220 verses of the Old Testament. Let's look at 1 Samuel 6 verse 4. Then said they, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one plague was on you all and on your lords. The word according occurs 666 times in the Old Testament of the King James Bible, and the phrase the number occurs 74 times in the Old Testament. The number 74, the value of the name Jesus, this trespass offering. Let's go to the 27th occurrence of crucify, Romans 6, verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. The word man combined with the word is case sensitive combined with crucified add up to 3034 in the new testament 74 times 41 let's look at the first word spoken by god in the bible genesis chapter 1 verse 3 and god said let there be light and there was light the word let has a value of 37 28th occurrence of crucified first corinthians 1 13 is christ divided was paul crucified for you or were you baptized in the name of paul the word is the phrase christ divided the phrase was Paul and the word crucified combined for 185 verses. That is 37 times 5. The word let, case sensitive, this should be underlined, but it occurs 333 times in the Old Testament. 37 times 9. The 29th occurrence of crucified, 1 Corinthians 1, 23. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. Christ and crucified combined for 592, 74 times 8 in the King James Bible. The word Christ occurs 555 times in the King James Bible. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and the fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. The word hath has a value of 37. And the first occurrence of the word hath in the New Testament is Matthew chapter 3, verse 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees came to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Revelation 13, 18. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for the number of a man and his number 603 score and 6. Of course, 666, 37 times 18. 30th occurrence of 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. The word save, case sensitive, the phrase Jesus Christ and the phrase and him crucified combined for 259 times in the New Testament. Let's look at Psalm 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. In Psalm 37, every word that is a multiple of 37, counting from the beginning of the psalm, will be a multiple of 37, counting back from the end of the psalm. For example, the word do is the 37th word from the beginning and the 666th word from the end. 
And the word do occurs in 888 verses of the Old Testament in 37 books. 31st occurrence, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. The phrase not have, the word crucified, the phrase the Lord of glory, combined for 74 verses in the King James Bible and occurs 77 times. 77 is the value of the name uh, Christ, 74 the value of the name Jesus. Psalm 37, 37, Mark the perfect man, and behold ye upright, for the end of that man is peace. The word mark, which includes the name, occurs 37 times in the King James Bible. 2 Corinthians 13, 4, For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. The phrase he was, combined with crucified, combined with the word through, case sensitive and weakness, 888 verses in the King James Bible. Look at Genesis chapter 4, verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. The word set combined with the phrase a mark, 666 verses in the King James Bible. With regards to Psalm 37, verse 37, mark the perfect man. Jesus was marked. He was marked in his feet. He was marked in his hands. He was marked in his forehead. But here we have 666 encoded in Genesis 4.15 with the Lord setting a mark upon Cain. 33rd occurrence of crucified, Galatians 2 verse 20. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The phrase I am, case sensitive, the phrase I am, case sensitive, the word crucified, and the phrase with Christ, nevertheless I live, combined for 777 in the King James Bible. Mark chapter 12, beginning in verse 29, and Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Thirty-seven words in that first commandment. Thirty-fourth occurrence of crucified, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you? The word forth and crucified combined for 925 in the King James Bible, a multiple of 37. Using the standard cipher shown here, the phrase Jesus Christ has a value of 925. That is 37 times 25. 35th occurrence of crucified, Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. The phrase crucified the combined with the word flesh, 370 verses of the King James Bible. Let's go to the Garden of Eden, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? The word serpent combined with the word more combined with the word subtle. 666 verses of the King James Bible. The word serpent and the word subtle combined for 37 verses of the King James Bible. 36 the occurrence of crucified, Galatians 6.14. But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. The phrase by whom, the phrase the world, the phrase is crucified, and unto me, combined for 925 in the King James Bible. So we're going to pick it up in Genesis chapter 3, verse 12. Now here's the man blaming the woman, verse 12. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. The phrase to be combined with the phrase with me combined for 481 times in the Old Testament, 37 times 13. Verse 13, And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. This is Genesis 3.13, and it just so happens that 603 score and 6 has a value of 313. Now this is important. We're going to count the words that God speaks to the woman. So here he speaks seven words. Verse 14, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and the dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. The word beast occurs in 37 verses of the New Testament. Now think about the connection of the serpent with the crucifixion. Jesus says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. Verse 15, First prophecy in the Bible. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy he head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. 
The word bruise has a value of 74, the value of the name Jesus. Notice the prophecy is her seed. How many genes were in the mitochondrial DNA? The 37 genes that you get from your mother. The serpent has uh, spoke 46 words to the woman and corrupted the seed, as evidenced by the birth of Cain. So now the seed is corrupted. Remember the 111 words that God spoke in Genesis chapter 1 to the man, putting the good seed in, the 37 times 3? Verse 16, Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. The 30 words here combined with the 7 words he previously said are 37 words total. God is putting back in the good seed into the woman, and that seed will be Jesus Christ, the fruit of the womb. Fruit 74, right? You have the seed 37, and the fruit, the 74, comes out 4,000 years later. Let's go to the 37th occurrence of the word crucified, and the final occurrence, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. The word Lord combined with the phrase was crucified combined for 1,073 verses of the King James Bible, 37 times 29. Remember the number 23? Let's look at Proverbs 23, 23. Buy the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The words truth, wisdom, instruction, understanding combined with the phrase by the add up to 666 in the King James Bible. Genesis chapter 17, verse 17 Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? Who is the next woman named in the Bible after Eve? It is Sarah. And the name Sarah occurs exactly 37 times in the King James Bible. Not only that, Sarah lives 37 years after Isaac is born. And in other words, Isaac is 37 years old when Sarah dies. So the purpose of this video was to demonstrate the pattern of 37 in the King James Bible. It is cover to cover. It proves that the King James Bible is the Word of God. You should pay attention to this number because it is also attached to the signs of the end times, such as mass shootings, earthquakes, the wars, and the rumors of wars. Well, that's all I have for now. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. God bless and bye for now.